the Polish Edifice Fox is a critical component of the Polish Armed Forces, responsible for protecting the nation's airspace from enemy aircraft, missiles, and other aerial threats. This Fox employs a combination of surface-to-air missile systems, radar installations, and anti-aircraft artillery to provide a layered defense network. Over the years, Poland has modernized its air defense capabilities, incorporating advanced technologies and integrating with NATO defense systems to enhance its operational effectiveness. The PZA Lor, a Polish shelf propelled anti aircraft artillery vehicle, was an ambitious project aimed at bolstering the Polish Armed Forces' air defense capabilities. The vehicle evolved from early prototypes based on a modified T 72M tank chassis to a more refined production version using the PT 91 Gwarty tank chassis. Key modifications in the prototypes included relocating the driver's compartment, reinforcing the torsion bar suspension, and installing a high-capacity auxiliary power unit to support the sophisticated onboard electronics. The production version, known as the PZ Ailora A, featured a fully traversing turret equipped with two Olicon KDA 35mm automatic cannons. These cannons were integrated with a radar guided fire control system akin to Sherman Flag Panzer Zerpat. The turret's welded plate design provided adequate protection against small arms fire and shell splinters, and it included smoke destructors for additional defensive measures. The PZA Lora's armament consisted of twin 35mm L30 caliber Olicon KDA automatic cannons, capable of engaging aerial and ground targets with high precision. These cannons, coupled with the vehicle's advanced radar systems, allowed for effective fire on the move capability. The radar suit included a 3D air search radar and an Ericsson Eagle Mark I engagement radar, along with the laser range fighter, TV, and flare systems, providing comprehensive tracking and engagement capabilities. With a scanning range of up to 16 miles, the PZA Lara could track 64 airborne targets simultaneously and engage targets at altitudes up to 16,500 feet. This made it a versatile platform for countering various threats, including low-level aircraft, helicopters, UAVs, and missiles. The PZA Lara's mobility was enhanced by its PT-91 chassis, powered by a 1,000 horsepower S-1000 diesel engine. This setup allow for a maximum on-road speed of 37 miles per hour and good cross-country performance, thanks to its torsion bar suspension system. The vehicle also featured skirt armor panels for additional protection and was equipped with a full NBC protection suit, ensuring crew survivability in contaminated environments. Despite its advanced capabilities, the PZA Lara saw limited service with the Polish army and was eventually withdrawn from service in 2013. Several factors contributed to this short service life, including changing defense priorities, budget constraints, and the challenges associated with integrating such specialized systems into broader defense strategies. The PZA Lara represented a significant technological advancement for the Polish Land Forces air defense capabilities, combining mobility, protection, and advanced fire control in a single platform. However, its short service life highlights 
the complexities and challenges of maintaining and deploying specialized military systems in a rapidly evolving defense landscape. Despite its withdrawal, the PZA Loara remains a noteworthy example of Poland's efforts to enhance its national defense capabilities through indigenous technological developments. <laughs>